Let's put my God and your God in the ring. A fight to the death. And what we will find, which is quite interesting, is that in order for you to defeat my God, in order for your God to defeat my God, but of course you must be the representative of your God. So in order for you to show and prove and have your God defeat my God, you actually must use my God and attempt to defeat itself. You actually must go through my God to attempt to defeat my God. Well, that doesn't mean you are automatically defeated. I don't have to go through your God to defeat your God. I fully and completely use the entire essence and presence and power of my God to defeat your God. And in order for your God to defeat my God, your God must stand upon the shoulders of my God to attempt to do such. So many times I run into resistance of the religious. And maybe I need to start trying to create more battles, if you will, with those of other religion. Find some Muslims or something. But of course, you know, there are more Christians around me than anything else. As a matter of fact, within my specific city, there's a high number of Mormons. But there's so much resistance on the part when I say, well, truth is God. And they actually seek and they fight to invalidate <laughs> my idea, my concept, my belief that truth is God. They actually seek to diminish the value of truth. They seek to strip away the power of truth. They hold that truth has no power. And yet to do such, they must maintain that what they are saying is the truth. to diminish my God they must actually use my God itself <laughs>